The next thing the telecommunications engineer has to worry about is sampling the signal. Sampling has happens at a discrete frequency. Not discrete meaning quiet and sneaky, but discrete in the other spelling, meaning fixed time periods. It's so they lock the time sampling period absolutely fixed. For example, CDs worked at 4,100 hertz. DVDs, they tend to sample audio at 48,000 hertz. 44,100 hertz is a really strange number. It's, really, it's for two reasons why they've picked it. First up is the sampling frequency. It's outside the, it's outside the syllabus, but a guy called Nyquist, a mathematician, figure, um, figured out if you're going to sample a signal, the minimum rate of sampling needs to be twice the frequency, maximum frequency you are looking for. So here, the maximum frequency we look for is 20,000 hertz. So we filter, filter the signal, and they remove everything greater than 20,000 hertz. So only everything less than 20,000 hertz gets passed to the signal processor. Any high frequency sounds automatically get thrown away because the human ear can't hear them. So 20,000 hertz, minimum sampling frequency is double times 20,000 is 40,000 hertz. Let's add 10% for good measure, 44,000 hertz, and there's a number close to that. The other reason why they pick 44,100 has nothing to do with physics, has purely to do with commercial standards. The first time they had to worry about digitally recording audio was with video players. To sample a video, there were two different standards used. There was VHS, and there was, Sony had a proprietary version called Beta, kind of like Android phones and Apple phones. Two completely different competing technologies also happened in the video world. The Beta tapes ran a lot faster than the VHS tapes, but they had to find a common sampling frequency that would work for both VHS at the speed the VHS tape was running at, and Beta the Sony beta tapes. And that common frequency that was just a little bit above 40,000 hertz was 44,100. So your CD samples audio at 44,100 samples per second simply because videotapes used to and that's what they had available as a standard. Now DVDs are starting to record at 48,000 hertz because you don't really need 44,100 anymore.